You spoke and I listened and I'm back on the dash. Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of the Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Wednesday, November 15th, 2023. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know wherever you are and whatever you are doing. Uh, the largest uh, strike for Israel uh, or march for Israel happened in Washington, D.C. yesterday since the start of the war. Um, Minnesota is requesting help for designing a new state flag, I guess. Interesting. This has got me so excited. Chili's has hired boys to men to re-record their iconic... I want my baby back, baby back, baby back. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back ribs. They didn't ask me. I just, that was, that was impromptu. That was free. Don't go using that without paying me chilies. Um, so boys to men, I'm very excited about this. And it is National Clean Out Your Refrigerator Day, speaking of chilies. And it's also like National Recycling Day. So it's interesting that those things kind of coincide. Okay, if you missed any of the news, you can find it below. You know, you can find me at the Sammy Cohn on all the social channels, YouTube, SammyCohn.com, all those things. Okay, I don't know why I haven't been coming to you on the dash other than a couple reasons. One, I have been crazy busy. I know I don't like to say that. Um, it has just been this week, especially I've had something like lots of meetings, events every afternoon and evening. Um, had my Kendra Scott event last night, filmed my Opryland Christmas special all day yesterday. Um, I had a podcast interview today. Um, just was back at the doctor today. So no, I know a lot of you were praying for me when I had my surgery last month. Um, I'm not doing great, but I'm not doing poorly. So we're in a waiting game, I guess, to see how the body reacts. Um, yeah. So just to say I'm okay, but, um, we're not taking any action yet, but may need to take some more action. Just need to give it another couple months to see how my body does, I guess, post, post surgery. And, so yeah, there's just been a lot going on and sometimes I worry about coming on here and sharing too much and sometimes I feel like if I can't share very authentically, then I don't want to share about the mundane things like a movie review. So then I get caught in my head and I don't do anything. But I've had probably three people um, tell me this week that they missed the dash. And so here you go. This is it. So I will, um, I, <laughs> I don't have anything revelatory to tell you other than um, I did see a screening of uh, Bradley Cooper's new movie Maestro earlier this week. It was pretty phenomenal and it was phenomenal. It's a it's about Leonard Bernstein and the phenomenal thing was how much I related and that's going to sound weird if you see like I had no idea about his life. It's not I, I don't relate at all to his talent, his struggle, like what he went through and yet there were elements, really human elements in both his character and his, well, I mean, he was a real person, but as portrayed on film and his wife as portrayed on film, there were so many quotes I wrote down, um, a lot about love, just a lot about like how we think we can love people through things and what does that do to ourselves as we try to do that. So that was interesting. I'm supposed to go see, um, Disney wish tonight, the newest Disney animated movie. Um, and yeah, I'm sure there's other things that I want to tell you about, but if you'll just be praying for me, I'm, I'm walking in a season of making some changes and decisions and I am looking inside, trusting that the Holy Spirit will guide me in that. So let's, let's pray. I didn't come up with a prayer focus. I'm like, I'm just going to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us and trust. So trust not in others, but trust in ourselves and in God, because sometimes it's hard when we don't get a clear answer or it's an option we hadn't thought of, or it goes against something that we may have thought ourselves. Um, it's hard to trust that. And so I always just say, just turn it back to God, keep your hands open, but don't be so quick to, um, to kind of usher out your decision-making. I know I've been guilty of thinking someone's more spiritual, someone's more experienced, someone's had more, you know, time in this profession. And so I'm, I renege on the, the power and authority God has birthed within me because I think someone else has that authority. And instead I need to, I need to go here first, sit with the decision, sit with the question, sit with the feeling, speak it out, give it back to God and 
feel something myself about it before I just go farming it out to someone else. So I pray trust for all of us today. Okay, friends, I pray you have a great day. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.